Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom. Now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Bugs and today guys we got some misleading information that I would like to debunk and we also got some, you know, some little extra saucy news um, for multiverses. You already know how I do my videos. I don't like to just talk about one or two things. I like to talk about a big genre or a big, you know, group of things and I actually do have a decent amount and let's get straight into this video. The first thing we're going to talk about is the misleading information that started off from this um, particular video and you know that leaked into twitter discord all the social media just saying like oh my god multiverses is not gonna have local play this game is dead to me now how could they not think that oh my god this company is so lazy and etc etc and just all the negative energy going to multiverses and i'm here to debunk this whole thing and you know tell the community that there is nothing to worry about this game is going to 95% the reason why I'm saying 95% because I need that 5% to back me up just in case <laughs> But um, so pretty much this is where the tweet came from It's from um, Douglas and Douglas said will there be an option for a local play and Tony says we'll be working on this feature I don't know what the timeline might be. We're focused on online currently I know this feature is important to players and we do plan on supporting this at some point when the dev resources are more available Thanks now, if you don't know how Tony talks or how Tony replies, at least into Twitter, he's a very blunt, in the moment, right there type of person. And this is the biggest example right here. And again, some people mis misread or misled his um, message pretty much. Pretty much Tony already said they'll be working on this feature. What this message means is, is local multiplayer completed in the game already no it is not because their focus is online they want the online to be perfect i'm not sure from y'all from a lot of fighter i'm not even a fighter gamer by the way but i am you know interested in this game but a lot of things that i've heard about online for fighting games just being horrible and terrible it looks like tony and their team really want to focus on online they want it to be perfect as much as it can be the whole point when it says at some point when the dev resources are more available that means that their devs are working on other things and when they have devs that aren't really doing anything then they'll send those to work on local multiplayer so is local multiplayer finished in the game no it is not but that it will be worked on before release and i know some people might be saying but he said it's possible da, 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 da. no it literally just means that they haven't completed it this game is launching in 2022 guys there has been no confirmed full date on when this game is actually going to release so you think they're really going to release this game without a feature like local multiplayer guys come on really think about it and you gotta realize that they want this game to be competitive no matter how good their online version to their game is I know they're gonna want to run lands. I know other land centers and third-party, you know, um, organization all this stuff want to run lands for this game. So there's no way they're gonna send this game out with no local play, you know. <laughs> but um, if you don't believe me, I'm gonna show y'all two messages that pretty much shows how Tony's like in the moment type of person, and kind of goes into the you know the news that I want to get to anyway. So let's go straight into that. So we have my boy Date, and pretty much he asks um. How will the DLC revealment for the characters be? You know, small videos and stuff, da 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 da. And Tony responded, Oh, there'll be something, but we haven't figured it out yet. Thanks for the question. As in, like, it is planned, but again, they don't know the perfect way to do it yet, so they're holding off on it. They, they don't really want to say something that is not 100% true or will change. And now, this is the perfect example that I'm going to use that also integrates us into, you know, our other news. And let's get straight into it. Tactic. He literally asks, good morning, to, um, Tony. I have a question for you. Will we get a console playtest for Multiverses? Thanks. This happens on January 22nd, guys. Tony says, yes, we'll be testing on console at some point. Not confirming if it's going to be the next one. Not confirming if it's going to be the one after that. Not giving it a real confirm, um, confirm but it's going to be at some point. And four days later, today, Tony answers Jaquan's um, question. Um, again, pretty much talking about a console playtest. And Tony responds and he says, if we are in the if you were in the previous test, you're good. As in you're already registered, you're gonna be selected, blah blah blah. But if you weren't selected for the last test, there will be an email sent to you to register for the console test if you are selected for the next one. Hencing, now there now we have come that hey, there's gonna be a console play test for y'all. So for the people that couldn't play because they don't have a PC and stuff, look at that. Now you're able to play on the console. And this is a prime example on how 
pony conversates on twitter you know it's in the moment it's literally what what he has at that moment he'll say and that's true and not misleading and then going on you know look at that four days later all right now it's confirmed that console will be in the playtest i just wanted to debunk that guys because I, I was just seeing so much hatred and calling the company lazy and stuff i'm just like yo have y'all not seen tony literally responding almost to everyone's question about what's gonna be in the game what can be in the game what people would love to see if people want it that they'll implement it guys give the game some time and patience you can judge once the game is completed please but let's move on to our news guys back to happy thoughts and happy energy and my boy Slav gaming and he pretty much um is talking about the recording feature in this game you know a replay system um and tony said thanks for the question we plan on supporting this but we're still looking at options on the best way to do it amazing i love that you know i definitely want to make some amazing looking montages or ed or you know hire an editor to do some montages for me when it comes to competing and etc and stuff because i will be competing in this game so that's awesome i can't wait to see that also i hope they do like the the camera photo thing like how brahala does it. i'm not sure if other games do it but brahala i know they have like the whole thumbnail maker pretty much that like literally has their character with no background and you could you know implement it to anything i think that's amazing hopefully you know they have that next question is from uh one step and one step pretty much asks is there gonna be a photo mode is there gonna be a capture picture fun moments of the mid games or anything during practice and all that stuff he said we're still exploring different ways to do this so awesome it looks like they are looking for that photo mode i was literally just talking about and a replay mode and all that stuff so that is awesome hopefully they get that done and have it on release day because i would definitely love to like i said make some cool videos and like different sceneries and cinematics you know i love that Moving on, we have the Ramley. Sorry if I said your name wrong, but pretty much. Um, again, I think I said this already, but you know, I just want to throw some old information if it's forgotten or not fully remembered. And pretty much what he asks is, will perks be attainable through playing or by cash? Just by playing, guys. You don't want to spend a dime on perks. Perks are not this exclusive thing that's going to make you better. All you got to do is play it and you all earned it. Uh, next question we have is from Jay and Jay said will there be a training room if so will it have um, important options like recording actions and CPUs to perform and Tony says yes um, you can currently set up the AI to a lot of different presets record playback is planned and not currently implemented so again it's planned but it's not done yet so that means they're gonna be working on it same way how they're gonna be working on local play just letting y'all know but that's awesome man you know um Again, I'm not a game uh, fighter gamer. This is pretty much like my first one that I'll be actually trying to see how it goes. And uh, recently, you know, I was playing Brawlhalla and stuff, and Brawlhalla has something like this. You know, when it comes to like the presetting or setting your character up, and you know, doing combos and it resetting and stuff, I find that outstanding and amazing. I didn't even know fighters. You were, you know, it was that. Um, I don't want to say into the future, but you know, that complex. That's pretty lit. Let's move it on. Next question we have is again by Doramley and he said, um, will there be more characters added to multiverses? If so, will they be obtainable through real life currency or just by playing? Again, I think I answered this, but you know, I just want to refresh people's memories. And um, Tony said, yes, there will be new characters added and they'll all, they will be attainable by just playing. So again, guys, even with the main roster that's dropping now and then future DLC content of these new characters joining the multiverses, they're all going to be free. All you got to do is play it. Again, the best thing I could refer it to is like Brahala. You earn these coins. And then you just spend it on characters. It's pretty much going to be the same way in this game. Moving on, we have my boy Shader the Gamer. And this is to hands out the new characters going to be coming in the game. And pretty much Shader just asked him, hey man, you know, who are you looking forward to in the game? And Tony said, my real unrevealed new main. Ho, ho, ho. Looks like they're already working on characters that might be added to the roster before the game release. I'd love to see that, man. Uh, next question we have is um, Zavuk. So again, sorry if I apologize and said your name wrong. Um, but pretty much he asked about like limitation and relation, the re resolution scale. And he says a guy is thing, da 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 da. You know, what was the resolution pretty much? And Tony said, Hi, thanks for the question. Yes, multiverses um, can be played at 4K resolution. Awesome, and it looks great in 4K. I'm making it here. The game is currently locked at 60 FPS, but we may relook at this for the future if a lot of players are asking for this feature. Um, that's amazing. Um, you know, because I am PC, I do prefer to play <clears throat> on like 240. You know, hoping to go to 360 in the future. <clears throat> but uh, I think that's amazing. I think they should do the bare minimum and do 144 hertz, or not 140 hertz, uh, 144 FPS. But again, I've been hearing a lot of stuff that this plays um, differently on console and PC, and it might give PC an advantage because of that. So sorry to hear that. 
maybe have it in the game as in like public lobbies customs but when it comes to rank play and stuff i guess lock it at 60. you know so people can still enjoy the game and how it looks and amazing and how it runs and stuff but that's just my you know input on that but moving on we have is gurkle and gurkle pretty much this one is hilarious. Girl of New Axe is, hey Tony, when selecting the character um, on the, ca the character select um, on the screen, will they say some sort of catchphrase or will an announcer call out their name or is anything else around these songs planned for the game? Have a great day. Tony, class clown, top comedian. <laughs> he said, yes, thanks for the question. <laughs> There is only like three questions in this. And Tony just said, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Love it, man. And then that is pretty much it for the news for today's guys. Um, Again, I wasn't even expecting to make um like a type of news type of video. But because of that misleading um information, I definitely felt the need to let y'all know. Um, Especially for the people that's excited for this game or felt let down about this game. You know, I want to just up y'all energy back up for the game and be like, you know, oh no, no local play, I'm not going to play anymore, you know. Wait until the game releases. Let's see what the game has to offer before we all run away from the game because of mis, you know, leading information. Um, leave a like if you like the video. Comment anything. Comment if you think I missed anything or if you know some information I should start, you know, thinking. But other than that, I don't think the next, I don't think I'll have another video for some time now, guys, you know. Um, you know, everybody else has their like little gimmick and you know series that they do i don't really have one because i'm a competitive player and i don't really want to bag wagon on their stuff so the next time you probably see me should be for the next um beta play test guys subscribe if you ever want to um you know watch one of my videos you know i'm gonna be on the news of multiverses content on multiverses and the competitive side of multiverses I'm out guys, peace. Yeah, she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got another five on the side, she a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find out.